So hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Not just my channel, but my first ever YouTube video. So please be kind. Basically, I have wanted to start a YouTube channel for so, so long, but I was always too worried about what other people would think of me and what people would make of my videos and if they didn't like them. You know, it's just something that always worried me, so I never actually got round to filming. But now I've kind of changed my tune and I'm, you know, I don't really care what other people think of me anymore, to be honest. You know, I know that this is something I've always wanted to do and it'll make me happy. And hopefully the idea is it will make other people happy as well. You know, really this YouTube channel, I really want to make a difference, um, inspire people. Even if I have one subscriber, but that one subscriber is enjoying my videos. That is all it's about really. So I'm going to have a real range of my videos from singing videos, backstage tours, um, a day in the life of me, you know, a, I can't even expect a load of different things. Get ready with me videos when I'm back in my shows and stuff. Any kind of tips you need for auditions. I'm going to be doing health, beauty and wellness videos night routines, morning routines, workout videos, because recently I've been really trying to get back into my fitness. And also, by the way, I will be going downstairs to film in a minute because it's getting dark and the lighting is so terrible in my room. Actually, I think I might just go down and start filming now. So let's get on with the video. So today I've got my little brother, Leo, in to read the questions out because I wanted to like blind react to them all. So I have no idea what he's going to ask me. So, Leo Bailey, if you don't mind coming in. <laughs> Good. Right, Leo, far away, first question. What is your favourite restaurant? Wagamama's. Definitely. As easy as yours. I love Italian. I, no, don't get me wrong, I actually really love ZZ's, but I think Wagamama's just tops it off because I love everything on that menu. Like absolutely everything. Anyway, next one. What is your favourite app? You could be a little more enthusiastic, Leo. What is your favourite app? That's screaming at me. What <laughs> is your favourite app? Instagram. Definitely. Instagram. I think it Instagram I think, and TikTok and yeah. Snapchat's just lower. I would say TikTok, but the only problem is that I work so hard on some of my TikTok videos to get about Ten. Five likes, ten views maybe. And it just annoys me because there's so many rubbish videos out there that go completely viral. And I'm thinking there's so many people that work so hard on them and they get no recognition. So Yeah, but I mean, the people who like your videos is me, Mummy, Poppy, my other account. <laughs> and yeah. Well, I've just been exposed. Stop talking. Your job is to read the questions, not okay. insult me. Next one. <laughs> what is your favourite Harry Potter film? Oh, that's actually quite easy. I absolutely love Goblet of Fire. I think it's the one where it starts getting like really dark. Obviously, Voldemort comes back. Um, yeah, I really like it because I love the Hunger Games as well. So I always feel like the Goblet of Fire is such a mixture between that. Because I've seen... Yeah, well, if you haven't seen it, I'm not going to spoil it. But Spoiler alert! I'm, I've only just watched the first one. Yeah, but you won't remember that, it's fine. Oh yeah, I will, trust me. Okay, well it doesn't, that doesn't... <laughs> Thanks a lot. What is your favourite cocktail? What? Cocktail or poptail? Cocktail. <laughs> pina colada. You like the pina colada. Okay, now on oh, to the just like that one. questions. <laughs> what is your favourite musical that you have seen? Nine to five. Oh, are you answering now? Well, yeah, I can answer that <laughs> No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I really like, I mean, it's such a classic, Lame is, come on, Wicked. They're all ones I've seen about six, seven times, and every time it just gets better. Oh, yeah, you still had to um, owe me. Last Christmas, you bought me tickets to see Wicked. I did. When did you realise you wanted to do musical theatre, and did you have any doubts? Probably about 14 years old, because it was kind of when I was sort of slowing down with the gymnastics. And I saw, I realised I could sing, basically. Before that, I really didn't like singing. I was petrified of it, actually. Could say I, I hated it. Hated singing so much, because I just wasn't confident enough. And then as soon as I sort of worked on it, realised, actually, I, I can sing. It's not too bad, either. So I'm working on it and realised... Actually, I think musical theatre is definitely going to be my route because I started to enjoy acting as well. 
so yeah probably then and yeah i've had loads of doubts about it you know everyone does because it's such a big industry and so many people want to do it because there's like so many amazing people out there that all want jobs you know everybody wants it just as much as you do you've just got to like work really hard and just don't let any negativity affect you really i know it's really difficult <laughs> right next question leo okay. <laughs> what's your favorite dance that you have been in dance um i mean i've done so many dances but my favorite one to perform was probably one when i was in swan lake when i was younger i had a really quite good part actually i was in the english youth ballet um, i think i was like 13 years old i was the first one on and it was like our sort of entrance and i got to lead everyone on probably that one actually that was it just brings back such good memories every time i watch it i love it what's your dream role oh um you have like 10 don't you I think everybody does. Nobody has that one role. There's so many for me. I'd love to be in, obviously, love to be in Wicked, Les Mis, Phantom, obviously, the usuals. But some more obscure ones, I'd love to play a Lucy and Jekyll and Hyde. If you haven't seen it, it's such a good musical. Um, Liesl in Sound of Music. Love to be in Sister Act. I mean, who wouldn't? Such a fun show. <laughs> yeah, that one. Uh, obviously, I love Nativity. Thank you. Leo was in Nativity, the UK tour last year. Mayflower. Yeah, I went to see it at the Mayflower, didn't we? Absolutely mm. incredible. Oh, wait, I have a story about that. It was the first day. Yeah. We were driving, and as we were driving. Oh, God, yeah. A deer hit it. I think. Hit it? Dis <laughs> what? You say the story. We're travelling in the car basically to drop him to Sage Door in Southampton. Good, like, hours drive, I'd say. So we're going down West Lane, literally just pull out of our road, and this deer runs straight in front of us, um, in, it's basically straight into the car. The deer was fine, but the car was not. <laughs> um, yeah, the deer just like just looked at us and was like, all right, what was I to say? You're not gonna do anything. And then Daddy, he was like, because it was not safe. Well, yeah, the car was kind of very damaged. Yeah. And obviously, Leo, this is his opening show as well. This is his professional <laughs> debut. So I got put in charge of taking Leo to the show. So my dad's quickly, like, he's, I mean, you can barely see out the windscreen. All the bumpers just come up and it was terrible. Um, and I've been put in charge. I had to take him on the train to Southampton. So we got to Southampton. He had five minutes before he had to be there for warm up. <laughs> Um, and the, the, I don't know if anyone knows Southampton, but the main flat is literally right next to the station. But I'm like panicking. I've jumped in a taxi. When I say it, it just went round the corner. I just wanted to say, this is Chester, everyone. Say hello, Chester. He's just been on a walk. <laughs> He's going to join me for the rest of the video. Do you want to sit there, Leo? Chester, you stole on my face. So anyway, to cut... Oh, you've sat on him. <laughs> <laughs> to cut long story short, we made it in the end. Is there a male role that you would like to play? Yeah, roles I'd love to play is definitely Phantom, either in Phantom of the Opera or in Love Never Dies. I think Andrew Lloyd Webber's amazing, and the songs in that are just incredible. And also, Dr. Jekyll and Jekyll and Hyde is such a good character, um, and he gets like the best song in the show as well, This Is The Moment. It's just... So, <laughs> just a... <laughs> it's just such an amazing soundtrack. If you haven't already listened to it, please, oh. <laughs> just go listen to it. Okay, last question. Do you like Disney? <laughs> I love Disney. I mean, who doesn't love Disney? I'd actually be... If somebody came up to me and said, oh, I don't like Disney, I wouldn't be able to be friends Out with them. Out of my life. Think. Yeah, I think Disney is just the best holiday destination, best place to ever be. It's just... It's just incredible. It's such a... We love it there, don't we? Mm -hmm. Maybe in like a few times. Well, also, they're meant to have gone this summer and I wasn't invited. Because oh, you're doing really? hairspray, well, you're supposed to be doing hairspray, but... Yeah, I know, but could have been invited. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. Obviously, this is only my first video, so things are still a little bit rough, but they will get better, I promise. <laughs> Bye! Bye!